mercy, mercy, no mercy, mercy. Wait, I ain't supposed to be here raining on the top. Why? Cause I be in the hood like an engine block. Dude, that rhetoric you spit, I ain't hearing it. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Dope. Who are the top five hardest hitting heavyweights of all time? Statistically, the way I determined that was by looking at two things. How many victories did they have by KO? But I also wanted to determine how many punches it took for that heavyweight to knock out his opponent. Now, I could not use CopyBox, right? Because it would be no fair to Jack Dempsey, Jack Johnson, George Foreman, the, even the early years of Mike Tyson. We just don't have the data. So what I did was I looked at the percentage of their KOs that came in five rounds or less. My idea was the earlier they can get their opponent out, the less punches that they're throwing in a total fight, meaning that they're hitting harder. It takes less punches for that heavyweight to knock out his opponent. So by looking at their percentage of wins coming by KO, and the percentage of their KOs that occurred five rounds or less, here are my top five hardest hitting heavyweights of all time. At number five, with 88% of his wins coming by KO and 70% five rounds or less, Rocky Marciano. After the first Marciano fight, he went the distance. Yeah. Got beat up bad, man. And Ezra Charles was an all time great. Mm -hmm. Got beat up real bad. By Marciano. Marciano was the hardest puncher I ever seen. At number four, with 88% of his wins coming by KO and 88% five rounds or less, Mike Tyson. See, people always talk about how hard Mike hit. What joke? Mike hit me with three punches the first time we come out <laughs> and fractured my ribs in the Olympic trials and knocked me down. They were so fast and so hard. And when I fell through the ropes and caught myself, I looked, they were telling me to get up. I was saying, boy, <laughs> if any one of those punches would have been in my head, I'd have probably been dead. <laughs> Did you get up? At number three, with an amazing 98% of his wins coming by KO, but 87% five rounds or less, Deontay Wilder. Being in the ring with both, of those fighters. I know you had more time, obviously, with Deontay. First question is, who punches harder? I go with Deontay Wilder. I believe he can knock out a bull. If, if you put a bull in front of him, I believe that <laughs> uh, Deontay Wilder can knock that bull out. At number two, with 90% of his wins coming by KO and 90% five rounds or less, George Foreman. The guy that hit me the hardest was George Foreman. Ooh. Yeah, wow. He hit, hit me one time in, the, in, in another <laughs> round, and I came back to the corner. I said, did he knock on my teeth? <laughs> and at one, with 92% of his wins coming by KO and 91% five rounds or less, Ernie Shavers. Who's the strongest? Who's the strongest? No, the strongest, the strongest man, man, just in terms of Ernie Schaefer. Really? Yeah, man. Uh, strong and Joe Frazier and George Foreman. He hit hard. He's got the hit on his record. And I don't know why I picked on him at this late in my career. I didn't really believe he was as good as he was. I predicted he was going around seven. But he was good. He it took all I had and he hit real hard. So let me know what you all think. I do know that there's an X factor being. Who did these guys KO? But just by using the math and statistics, those were my top five hardest hitting heavyweights of all time. So comment below, let me know what you think, and show biz the dope. Whew. I'm out. <laughs>